Alright, Verizon Droid DNA. Honest review compared to some of the other phones here, market leaders. We have a Galaxy S3 uh, on my left and we have an HTC One X on my right and we'll talk a little bit about an iPhone 5 but we'll focus more on Android today. Uh, jumping right in, flagship phone from Verizon new out this winter, December 2012 into the new year 2013. Made by HTC Biggest selling feature for this guy is the fact that it is a full 1080p display. Uh, awesome, awesome screen. If you've seen screens like the HTC One X, you'll be familiar with the screen on the DNA. So other than the screen, what else does this uh, phone have? Well, for starters, it's actually factory unlocked GSM. And so this phone is running on AT&T. And you can see here it has the AT&T symbol with the H4 uh, HSPA. So the SIM card slot in this guy, factory unlocked. Um, you can throw any net micro SIM in. I've actually got a nano SIM from an iPhone 5 with an adapter. And what else do we have about this guy? Well, awesome unibody construction. Um, it does feel a little bit different than the One X. It's not as uh, it's not as nice, I think. The, the One X has sort of a harder back. You can hear the difference. Right, this is more sort of hollow, rubbery feeling. This is more sort of solid feeling. Uh, but that's okay, it still feels really good. Um, they've recessed the camera a bit here. See if you compare it to the One X, this sort of has a, a an extended uh, lens and this is sort of flush with the back of the phone, which is, makes it pretty nice. Um, other parts about it, I'm not really going to get too much into the specs. I don't really like to talk about specs too much. Design of the phone, really, really nice. Um, super slim, super lightweight, uh, nice red accents across the top, the bottom, the side, the back. Uh, really, really well done, I think. The only sort of negative I can point out about the, the design is this silly little plastic flap for the charging port. Um, I don't know if they should have used a slider or maybe just nothing, but it does, when it's closed, it does sort of give the phone a nice sleek look, but, but to try and get it open, it's, it's sort of a pain in the butt. Um, moving on from there, this nice Gorilla Glass cover is, is, feels really good. It's nice and sort of smooth, similar to the uh, HTC, different than the Galaxy. Galaxy sort of has a different feel to it. This is um, more kind of easy to rub your finger across. I don't know why or how it's different, but uh, nice, nice to feel, nice to hold on to. Good fit in your hand. It's sort of a longer, uh, a longer fit um, compared to say the Galaxy. The Galaxy is kind of, kind of wide. This is long. You can see see the difference here between the three of these. Um, very, very big screen. Uh, you definitely need to use two hands on this phone to do all the features, but because it's a little bit narrow, you can kind of reach a lot of the areas with your thumb. Uh, you, you do have to sort of jostle the phone around uh, to get to the bottom corner and to the top corner, but but good fit and finish in the hand. Really, really well built. Really, really well de uh, designed. Very, very um, high-end looking, feeling phone. Similar to the other HTC models you have around. HTC, I think, is is one of the one of the leaders in design uh, next to Apple. Samsung have a tendency to feel sort of cheap, sort of plasticky. Um, you know, you look at the back of this and, and then compare that to, say, the HTC. Uh, you know, the, to me, there's no question the HTC is a much, much, much better design. So getting back to the screen of this phone, the screen on this guy is nothing short of amazing. Pixel density is tremendous. I think they quoted it at 440 DPI. Um, you can't see any any pixelation in this phone at all. Text is sharp. Everything is, is the colors stand out. Um, there is no reason why you wouldn't think that this phone is anything sort of amazing uh, when you look at the text and the screen. We'll just zoom in here real quick and just show you guys some of the, some of the uh, text on here. It is just incredible. You really have to see it for yourself to, to see how, really, how good this screen really is. So what else can we say about the DNA? Well, the operating system is fast. It's fluid. It comes pre-installed with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which is nice. Um, the camera in it is really fast, really smooth, uh, it takes great photos, image quality is just as good as any of the other phones you've seen on the market. Um, panning in the camera is nice, video quality is nice. All in all, it's an excellent camera uh, built into an excellent phone. Now, some of the downsides are I have seen some lag in Sense, which Sense to me has always been and always will be laggy, even with uh, Android 4 and Project Butter. Um, personally, I think that uh, TouchWiz on the S3 is smoother. I think that it's a more fluid user interface. I like TouchWiz over uh, Sense, but that's just a personal opinion. Um, there is a bit of lag in this guy in uh, certain areas like the Android keyboard. 
um, inside sense I've, I've noticed some lag and so what that's led me to do is actually root the phone and install a custom ROM to try and smooth out some of those lags uh, but all in all this is actually running a stock ROM and you can see that it is smooth it is fast there's no no real 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 issues with it um, if you've used a lot of phones you can probably pretty easy pick out where the lag comes in so biggest downside to the droid DNA battery life um, I get about a full day's use, maybe eight, nine hours out of it before it needs a charge, and that's with moderate use, I would say, checking emails, uh, texting, um, a little bit of web traffic, not a lot of video activity, not a lot of game playing, and so they didn't, in my opinion, they really didn't stick a big enough battery in this phone for everyday use. Um, you're going to have to carry a charger with you if you're a heavy user. So. All in all, they've made a really, really nicely designed phone. Very, very nice um, in terms of its software features and uh, hardware specs, but they left out a big enough battery. And so I don't know what they're thinking um, when they made this phone because people expect to have a full day's use out of their device. And so when you throw a smaller battery in, it really limits what you can do um, with the phone. Galaxy S3, on the other hand, uh, much better battery life. Even HTC One X, much better battery life. And so you have to think about that when you're considering purchasing the Droid DNA. Um, look at the spec. Uh, think about how much you want to use your phone. Uh, compare it to the say the, the other top-of-line phones, iPhone 5, Galaxy S3, HTC One X. But I don't think you'll regret your purchase. Um, I think it's a really, really well-built, well-designed handset. Uh, I like it a lot. It's going to be my my phone of choice for the next few months. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.